If you like this movie, give me a thumbs up, please. It really helps other people to find my movies. Hi, this is Jonathan Pickup. Today we're going to have a look at creating an elevation viewport. Now, if you like this movie, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find my movies. If you think I've missed something, leave a comment. Let's have a conversation about the way I created these drawings. In the last movie, we also looked at how to create these callouts and how to link them to a database. We also looked at how to create things like the hatching and stuff like that. So in this movie, I'm going to create an elevation. Now, I've already got a save view set up ready for my elevation. There it is there. This is my front view. And I'm going to create an elevation view. So I've got my elevation view. I need to go to view in the menu bar, create viewport. Now, it will be easier if I create a crop area like this. That's my crop object. My render view, so view and create viewport. And we're going to have a look at this object here. This is going to be my south elevation. It pays you to name these. You'll find it a lot easier to look for these. I'm going to call that view. Uh, what drawing are we going to put this? We're going to put this onto elevations one. Have the drawing label, yes, this is my south elevation that on there what layers do we want to see now I've actually already set these all up so you can see I've got my two my two layers turned on and I've already got all of my classes turned on because I went through my classes in order to make my saved view so I've actually chosen what things to turn on and what things to turn off I think this elevation needs to be something like 1 to 50 uh, 1 to 50 I'm only going to get one on a drawing but 1 to 100 I can get two or three on a drawing so let's have a look at that my view is a front view it's hidden line rendering, not dashed hidden line this time. Uh, my render settings, I'm not going to sketch my hidden line results. If this was an early concept model, I would certainly turn that on. I'll show you what it looks like later on. Orthogonal projection, and I don't have any elevation benchmarks, but if I did, I could choose whether to show those or not. So I could have elevation benchmarks for the ground level, for the start of the roof, and so on. So let's OK that. Uh, that name's already in use, so South Elevation Viewport. I think it's the one I created earlier. OK, and there's my South Elevation. Now it's unrendered, so let's update it. That's my rendered view. And you can see now I've got enough room for a couple of these. At 1 to 100, I even have enough room for probably four of them. So that's my first one. So I'm just going to drag a copy across here. That's um, Option Drag or Control Drag on a Windows machine. And now I should be able to just change this from a, where's my view, front. So I want to go, so this is my south elevation. I want to go east, which is my right view. And you'll notice that when I do that, my crop area gets in the way. So let's edit my crop. I need to make sure that my crop goes all the way to there. And I can probably pull that side back a little bit. Right click, let's edit my annotations. And I'm going to drag that so that it lines up with the end of that foundation. OK. And there it is there. Now for my elevation, I could probably just crop this right to the ground level. Or I can put a polygon for the ground level and hide everything below the ground. Let's update that. Now I did talk to you about using um, sketching for the viewport. So if it is a early concept drawing, you might turn on the sketch hidden line results. Now, lots of people argue with me about this, but it does help the client to see the stage of the project. If you give the client this view here with the sketch hidden line results, and then they don't have too many comments, and then you change from sketch hidden line results, let's just update those, and we'll go fit to object. So we've got them sketching like this. We get them to the client. We talk about the design. They're happy with the design. Now we go back to this and we turn this off. Now you give them another bill. Now the client can see a visual difference between the two stages of the design. It's really important that you help the client to see the stage of the design. It's often the case where the client will say, I didn't want to make a change because you've done so much work. Whereas when you do the sketch line results, so if we sketch the hidden line results, quite often the client will know that it's an early sketch, sketch stage and they won't worry about making changes. So that can be quite a useful technique. 
okay so on these ones actually I don't want to see the furniture I see there's some furniture turned on furniture let's turn off the furniture and update and we'll get rid of our sketch results because we want it to be a construction drawing so there it is there we can change all of these colors to black and white only if you want there's an option here advanced properties I can get rid of my colors just by choosing black and white only and it gets rid of the purple lines that I had so what's the next thing we need to do one of the things I do like to do is to put a ground line in so let's right click let's hit my annotations I need to put in a ground line and I always use this one here the polyline tool so my ground line is here this is my ground line so through there click and drag click and drag click and drag click and let's give that a hatch and I want that to be soil so I've actually got a soil hatch somewhere in here soil that one there and I don't like the scale of it so I'm going to grab hold of this and I'm just going to pull the scale until it starts to look more like soil that's better escape from that let's give that a heavy line 0.7 and I'm going to turn off the line that goes underneath it so this is the reshape tool hide or show edges click on the bottom and it just hides that so there's my elevation I just need some notes I could put some hatching in here so let's have a look what can I do to put in hatching so I can put hatching with this tool here click there shift click again and I can see it's picked up the ground line so I've got the shift key held down again click there and over here click and click I should have filled that area in shift key click cool so that's got all of that what does this want to be this wants to be weatherboards so I've got a hatch for this which is just that one there so let's select that one so I've got my hatching on for my weatherboards and now I can put my annotation on and I'm going to use my call out tool for this so I like it in the three point click and I go click click so this is my roofing and it's my not my ridge capping it's my roofing there we are using that one I'm going to line up with that one again click click this is my weatherboards so this is my cladding weatherboard that one there and click click and click on my window this is windows windows and doors windows that's my window and I've got some posts here as well and I got those under timber timber posts there are my posts and everything's sweet click OK and just do that for all the elevations so you can see I just need to do the same repeat the same technique here so let's grab a copy of this so it's the option key or the control key on a Windows machine and I'm going to put copy there and I'm going to grab a copy of this one as well drag a copy of that one down here just make sure they line up so that has to line up with that point there and I'll just drag that across so now I'm just going to drag that across a little bit more get out of the way of that title block there we are so this one needs to become the back so let's go it's not a front view it's a back view and when we update it we have to move our crop area probably and this one again is not the right but the left and we might have to move the crop area as well so let's update that there's the crop area there so let's right click let's edit the crop and that needs to come down there a little bit more let's pull that one back there just drag that across this one let's edit my crop so right click edit crop oh it's all the way over there so let's go all the way over there so right click edit annotations let's just select all of that we can move it across perhaps certainly this would be easier if I just move that across 
Um, all of this is existing, so actually I don't need to have all these notes here, and I don't need that. Uh, but I do need to move that back across. Exit my viewport, move that back, and add my drawings. Now what I need to do is just add my labels or add my notes. So I'd also like to show you one that I created earlier, which is this one here. And this one also includes the site. And you can see I've added a little bit of information because I've added the ridge capping and I've added the gutter. And, oh, that says ridge capping still. So let's change that one. Double click on that note. We're going to change that to gutter. Okay. Update that. And I'm also using keynotes for this. So you can see I've actually got keynotes here. And here's my detailed note over there, which is just another way to do it. But the nice trick here is I've actually got the site model. Um, so you can actually see the ground line is, and the ground line's not flat, the ground line's um, changes. I've also changed here where you can see I've got the existing building with no hatching and the proposed building with hatching. So it helps the client and the contractor to see the difference between old and new. So thanks for watching. Now, if you like this movie, give me a thumbs up, please. It really helps other people to find my movies. Uh, leave a comment. If there's something that I missed, leave a comment. Let's have a conversation about the way I created these drawings.